Amid the rising violence and homelessness in Venice, more disagreements, big drama on what to do about all of it between the sheriff and this district's city council member, Mike Bonin. LA County Sheriff Alex Villanueva has ordered deputies to move into Venice to help deal with what is becoming a borderline humanitarian crisis. The LA Times reports the deputies will not be arresting anybody for at least a few weeks, and they will be working with mental health workers to identify people that might need help and pair them with services. Venice, of course, actually part of the city of LA, which is policed by the LAPD, but the sheriff says the explosion in violence and rampant crime is because law enforcement efforts have been hampered by city leaders. As reported by the Times, Monday, the sheriff went on the offense. He said, quote, public space belongs to the entire public, not to one individual. And that is the fundamental responsibility of government. That's the fundamental failure of the Board of Supervisors, LA City Council, and the Mayor of LA. They have refused to regulate public space. Councilman Mike Bonin, who presides over the 11th District, which includes Venice, voiced his very ardent opposition to the deputies being there. Over the course of 15 tweets, he excoriated the sheriff, calling the whole thing a publicity stunt, attacking Villanueva's record in office, and painting the sheriff's department as a straight up corrupt organization. Here's the first tweet. The sheriff says he's coming to Venice. Hmm. He didn't call to offer services or housing, which would help. He went on a PR blitz, promising his own notorious brand of justice to anyone familiar with Villanueva and LA Sheriff's Department. That is incredibly ominous. Bonin goes on to list individual reasons to be worried about the sheriff. He cites a report from the Civilian Oversight Commission saying Villanueva has threatened police reform. Bonin says the sheriff denied journalists First Amendment rights during last summer's protests. He accused the sheriff of allowing those so-called gangs to operate within the department. Uh, he accused the sheriff of using a racist, sexist slur against County Supervisor Hilda Solis and shared a news article written about investigations into corruption and retaliation at the sheriff's department. Yeah, this is, so now most of these really have nothing to do with the homelessness problem in Venice, at least directly, but towards the end of the thread, Mike Bonin says this. He says, Villanueva is exploiting Venice to spread the nefarious lie, and then he name checks mm -hmm. Tucker Carlson, John and Ken from KFI, the LA Police Protection League, uh, that crime and homelessness are caused by progressives. The only fix is tougher laws, longer sentences, and more prisons. He says they promise a broken response to address this crisis and save lives and restore our public spaces. We need housing and services, not handcuffs and civil rights violations. So this is a very, very, very long and, and I mean, I, he just said, here's all of it. Mm -hmm. I got the receipts. Here's all the issues. Here's, here's, the, here's the news articles about the investigations into corruption. Here's the news articles into investigation about retaliation, about mm -hmm. these, these other problems that we've told you about over the course of a couple of years here. Look. Look at the map! And the Look sheriff responded. Here. The sheriff yes. responded. The sheriff did respond in an Instagram live stream. He reacted to the councilman. He called the thread a meltdown. Here's that reaction from the sheriff. We're taking action and apparently uh, Councilman Bonin had a meltdown on social media. Hmm. And the point is, Mike, and this is, uh, you haven't figured out yet, if you did your job, I would never be in Venice. If the Board of Supervisors did their job, I'd never be in Venice. But since they haven't done their job, the City Council hasn't done their job, you in particular, of all people, have not done your job, that forced us to take action because now lives are at stake. Ooh. So the question is, is the sheriff permitted to do this at all? Is it overreach? The LA Times talked to a law professor from Loyola who said, while the sheriff does have jurisdiction, right, the city is within the county of LA, it shouldn't be a, quote, turf war. And the professor said it was problematic if the sheriff was taking the lead on issues which were usually handled by the city and the LAPD. The sheriff says he wants the boardwalk cleared by July 4th. LAPD says it won't help remove people from the area unless instructed to do so by the mayor or the city council. The police chief, Michael Moore, says he thinks Councilman Bonin is making a difference in the reduction of tents in the area, but some neighbors who uh, spoke to the Times were happy to see something happening. Earliest reports this week suggest that the sheriff's outreach program has been somewhat successful in finding homes or programs for some people living on the boardwalk. Yeah, we have reached out to both the uh, LA Sheriff's Department and also the LAPD and Mike Bonin. We haven't heard anything yet, and I don't think that necessarily means anything. One thing that um, I did talk to Sam about today before we started the show, we were just sort of talking about the story. It is, um, 
a re-election coming up soon. Mm -hmm. Mike Bonin has said, and some of the people, there's some homeless out, outreach uh, activists who um, the Times spoke to in that great report today about the sort of like drama now that's unfolding down on the West Side. And they said that essentially, um, this feels like it's a political thing. It is police officers firing blanks, yeah. so they said. And the reason that they're saying that is because it's 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 a very clear issue. A lot of very wealthy people are having, uh, you know, lots of thoughts about this on the West Side. The billionaires are all upset mm -hmm. that uh, this thing is happening and that this space, you know, which really is supposed to be reserved for everybody, is difficult uh, to to enjoy. The boardwalk, as we just told you in the story before, you could be an older street performer, um, a 70-something-year-old man, and be just sucker punched, yeah. and have your face broken, literally, right? And like that's not okay. The 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 the, uh, the sheriff is probably seizing on an opportunity here to come and come forward and try to make some sort of change, make some difference. Will it necessarily make a difference? I don't know. I think the the way that Mike Bonin talks about it is as if the sheriff's department showed up like the National Guard, right, with in. rifles and just mobilized uh, and just, into and the space, took everybody yeah. out. And they said for the next couple of weeks they're not going to arrest anybody. That they really just want to, as much as they possibly can, connect people and help because there's a lot of people who need help mm -hmm. and a lot of people who aren't getting the help that they need. Um, mm -hmm. But it is wild because you know the sheriff certainly uh, documented a lot of involvement in, in, in uh, issues with retaliation, a lot of investigations into corruption like we were talking about. Uh, so certainly uh, is, is, a, is a very like LA story um, yeah. uh, fracas, I guess, going on now. I mean, we'll have to see how it continues to unfold. And I, uh, just uh, in regards to that live stream comment, nobody likes to be told that they're not doing their job or mm. that they're not be doing their job well. So um, I, I'm kind of curious to see where this goes from that point. Uh, but um, I mean, Mike yeah. Bonin is mad. Yeah, he oh, has he's been pissed. mad for a while. He's yeah. pissed now. He feels like personally attacked. There is this sentiment within, I think, a lot of the progressives in this city that law enforcement uh, wasn't invited to the table in this issue. Mm -hmm. And so why are they here? Um, you know, but again, like the people who are there, there are there are not tanks rolling through the boardwalk driven by LA Sheriff's deputies. The LASD showed up with a bunch of actually homeless outreach people as part of the team uh, with the sheriffs to sort of try and help the situation. It's, I mean, it's a disaster. Um, and, we should, and I guess I don't know why we I, feel like we have to have this conversation, but it's like, we need to fix this. Yeah, way. It, does, it seems like, like just, you know, zooming out, it, it feels like more people trying to help shouldn't be a bad thing. But, yeah, but sure. Yeah. But I think also, you know, it, that doesn't come without the baggage of sure. law enforcement, yeah. unfortunately, in this in this case. I mean, we're not talking like LAPD Daryl Gates right. levels of, of corruption, I don't think, at least not documented. But remember in the early 1980s, the Rampart Division, mm -hmm. you know, persisted. I mean, there's that, that is a stain on that de department that exists today. Yeah. Um, and, you know, the LASD, we tell you probably every couple of days about a new weird thing that happened with the LA <laughs> Sheriff's Department. Right. Truly the way that they treated journalists... That's, that's bad news. Mm -hmm. and, you know, they're doing a lot of spooky stuff the past couple of uh, uh, months. They're especially mm -hmm. covering a lot of those protests last year. But, you know, I don't know. I mean, it is. It's a crisis. And so it's it's interesting to me, though, because they say, OK, we'll push them out of the boardwalk. I don't know if you guys have been to Venice. I think I've said this before, but I, when I go, I usually park by Gold's Gym, which is about a little a short, short walk to the, toward the boardwalk. But it's far enough where I'm not surrounded by traffic or it's impossible to find parking. So when you park by Gold's Gym, there's like a couple of parking structures there, um, lots of parking spaces. And over the years, when I first started, when I first discovered this spot, you could park, it wasn't an issue, whatever, there was a few homeless people, it, it, it wasn't crazy. Today, if you go, it's literally the whole, it, it looks like a skid row set, set up where it's like yeah. the whole row. But it's, like I said, it's far enough from the boardwalk where if they're pushing people out of the boardwalk, is that where they go? A couple blocks over by the Gold's Gym, by some other residential area. Uh, how far do they push them out? Well, it's not like, about, again, it's like, it's not about just, we don't want them in front of us because that is unsightly, which mm -hmm. is, uh, I think maybe some people feel that way, sure. but that's not really a solution because you just move them to a different exactly. part of the city and yeah. that didn't solve it either. It's about connecting them with housing when it's available. It's about putting them in situations where if they need help, like mental health or, or drug addiction treatment, getting them that kind of thing. We spend a billion dollars a year in this city to help with this. Mm -hmm. So let's do that. Right. Let's put that money to use. Um, and it's tough because you really do, you get it from all sides. And I, and I don't feel really 
a lot of sympathy for anybody in elected office, but it is interesting to to think like if you're someone like Eric Garcetti, you're the board of supervisors, you're Mike Bonin, you're even the sheriff, you know, you're getting it from all sides. Mm -hmm. Everyone is displeased. Everyone has a different opinion about how this is going to be fixed or how to fix this. And I, I, you know, I don't, I'm certainly not smart enough to have any clue on how to handle it, but it does just feel like it just more and more people are getting involved in it. It's getting worse and worse. And, uh, I, I don't know, man. It's a scary thing, yeah. and and I and I hope that, that really at the core of this are a lot of very very, uh, I mean a lot of people who are struggling very very very, uh, much, and it sucks to see them sort of either used for political purposes, and not helped, or for them to because of the situational difficulty of bureaucracy or how much money and how many people are involved in trying to make decisions here, not get the help that they need. Yeah. Well, we'll continue to follow it, and um, come July fourth, we'll kind of see where we're at. Um, should we continue on? You want to take a break? Let us take a break. Uh, Sam actually had something really good to say going into break there. She said, uh, Sheriff's got six people to work with outreach, who, two who were veterans. Um, so they are, they are trying to do it, I think, in a humane way. But uh, we will see. We will be right back with more Five Live on the other side of the break. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Don't go anywhere, please. Do we sound desperate? Please. 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 